New MG4 EV electric crossover, powerful attack on a direct competitor, Volkswagen ID3. At the end of the 2022 model year, MG will add the compact MG4 electric to its lineup of electric vehicles. The Stromer has the potential to become a rival to the Volkswagen ID3, particularly in regard to the price. Now that the SAIC subsidiary has announced prices for the British market, there is a first indicator that may be considered. This is where the more compact model begins at an offered weight of 25,995 pounds. Is it really going to happen? Will the new MG4 be able to beat the Volkswagen ID3? Are we missing out on something? Have you ever thought of an EV with exquisite specifications? Volkswagen is getting ready to make your fantasy come true very quickly. And don't worry, you're going to get every single answer because you are on Tech Electric. So let's have a look at its model and the benefits it offers because it's going to be a major competitor in the electric industry with its new MGF4 model. The chip shortage and current economic crises have lowered expectations that EVs will be less expensive than fossil fuel vehicles by 2023 and 24. The $25,000 Tesla appears to be further away than it was, and mineral shortages have pushed back the cost reduction to below $100 per kilowatt hour in batteries, which is believed necessary for price parity. However, more affordable EVs are on the way with MG leading the charge. The MG4 EV, which was just released, establishes a new standard for electric value. The MG4 EV competes with not only the Volkswagen ID3, but with Chevy Bolt EV and the Renault Megan E-Tech Electric in the compact slash subcompact segment. The Stellantis Group also produces many electric vehicles in the same class, including the Vauxhall, Opel, Corsa E, Peugeot E208 and DS3 e 10 Despite the fact that SUVs are the most popular in the United States and have acquired a commanding position in Europe, the compact format remains quite popular and is the ideal choice for a general purpose automobile, mostly used in urban situations. If any vehicle type was going to lead the charge in terms of value, it would be the compact, and the MG4 EV checks all the boxes for a classic of the genre. This is the first MG to be built entirely of electric components. This design, known as the Modular Scalable Platform, or MSP, will serve as the foundation for future MG releases. The batteries are flat under the floor, and the wheelbase is extended to optimize internal space while also providing balance and a low center of gravity. And another one of its strong qualities is that it is far more affordable than its rivals, with prices ranging anywhere from 6,000 to 9,000 euros, depending on the edition. But in addition to that, we had to be well versed in a number of other topics that were equally or even more significant, and we are already aware that the press is beginning to evaluate it and assert that it is a superior automobile in a variety of categories. In addition to being a more cost-effective choice, the MG4 will be available in Europe this year. It will do so in two distinct configurations, one with an electric motor that has 135 kilowatts and 51 kilowatt hours, which achieves up to 350 kilometers of autonomy, and the other with a motor that has 150 kilowatts and 64 kilowatt hours, which receives up to 450 kilometers of autonomy. Both motors are fully electric. Furthermore, we already know that the company is planning to deliver, although somewhat later, other variants that will offer us all-wheel drive thanks to the employment of two electric motors instead of one. It is an alternative to the Volkswagen ID3 or the Renault Megane E-Tech Electric and is 4.29 meters in length. It is capable of being charged at 135 kilometers of maximum power and takes only 35 minutes to charge from 5% to 80% of the battery. The results of the first round of tests are in, and they show that the MG4 outperforms the Volkswagen ID3 while also being more affordable. But what's a better car? The members of the British Motoring Press are the only journalists who have been given the opportunity to conduct the initial tests of the MG4 at this time. And as they explain it to us, although the MG4 is more affordable than the Volkswagen ID3, it still offers exceptional standard equipment in all of its variants despite being cheaper. The 10.25-inch diagonal multimedia system is compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. It also has a touchscreen and can be used with driving assistance systems like lane keeping, adaptive cruise control, and traffic management. In addition to highlighting the comprehensive standard equipment, they stress the effectiveness of the electrical system in the MG4, which is proven by the fact that it only consumed 14.8 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers while being tested, which is data that is more accurate than data that is good. Point of fact, the Volkswagen ID3 does not record poor data in this particular portion. However, somewhat poorer data was anticipated from the MG model. 
and where it's also unexpected and concerning driving. According to AutoCar, its outstanding acoustic insulation is what makes it silent, and its smooth driving, it is remarkable because of how well it drives. According to Richard Bremer, a car tester at AutoCar, it boasts performance that is superior to that of Volkswagen ID3 in its similar configuration. At this stage, it will be closer to the positive experience provided by the Cupra Born, since it has a weight distribution of 50-50 between the front and rear axles, a very low center of gravity, and improved cornering stability. The Volkswagen ID3 is a pretty unremarkable vehicle in its class because it was created with the intention of being useful for day-to-day -day activities and does not especially excel in any one area. So is the new MG4 the best value of EV ever? The cost of the MG4 EV is nevertheless the aspect of this vehicle that stands out the most. We had hoped that this vehicle would be available for a price of £25,000 or about $30,000, but MG's not yet managed to reach this level. The price of the SE standard range is £25,995, which is the equivalent to about US$31,000, while the price of the SE long range is £28,495, and the SE trophy is £31,495. At this pricing, it is priced significantly lower than almost all of its rivals, including the Renault Zoe and the Nissan Leaf, as well as all automobiles manufactured by Stellantis, which includes Vauxhall, Opel, and Peugeot. It is also priced lower than all those that are manufactured by the Volkswagen Group. Even the exceptional electric vehicles produced by Kia and Hyundai appear pricey in contrast. You may have noticed that we have not made a comparison to a Tesla, nor have we referred to the MG4 EV as a Tesla killer. Neither of these things was intentional. The reason for this is that there is currently nothing from Musk's company that can be categorized into the same category, perhaps in the not-too-distant future, but we have no doubt that Elon will be pleased to see the price of electric cars fall as a result of the introduction of the MG4 EV in the here and now. Other manufacturers are the ones who ought to be concerned. The MG4 EV is not flawless, but it is a pretty decent vehicle overall. It has a high driving range, it's easy to operate, and it is very practical. Best of all, it's a great deal, making EVs just a little bit more affordable for everyone. In summary, the evaluations after the initial tests that have been carried out are very positive, despite the fact that there are also some criticisms regarding areas in which MG4 Electric may improve. The key is right there. It's a cheaper car than its competitors, so people thought it would be a little less fun to drive. However, they found that it's actually a little better than the alternatives that are already on the market. When it finally makes its way to the European market, it'll unquestionably be aimed at becoming a massive hit among buyers. So what do you think about the prices of EVs? Will they fall with the introduction of the MG4? And will it affect the Tesla EVs in the near future? Let us know in the comments below. And we sincerely hope you enjoyed our video today. If you did, please give it a like and share it with your friends and family. Let us know if you have any other questions or comments in the section down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see even more of our incredible videos. You can also watch our other videos that have been specially selected just for you. Hey, we look forward to seeing you in our next video. And thanks for watching.